Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today, I will show you how to plan and enjoy an amazing three-day, two-night backpacking trip on the Galapagos of North America, or otherwise known as the Channel Islands. Channel Islands National Park is made up of five small islands and is only a one-hour ferry ride away from Santa Barbara. These islands are home to about 2,000 plant and animal species, and some cannot be found anywhere else in the world. The only way to reach the islands is via ferry with island packers. There are two harbors on Santa Cruz Island, Scorpion Cove and Prisoner's Harbor. This trip starts at Prisoner's Harbor and ends in Scorpion Cove. Just remember to keep your fuel and water separate from your main pack as they are stored separately on the boat. <laughs> We backpacked on Santa Cruz Island during the month of April, making it the perfect spring trip while waiting for the Sierras to thaw. The first thing that you're going to want to do is secure your camping permits. Day one is at the Del Norte campground where there are only four spots. Then book your day two site at Scorpion Cove, which is a much larger campsite where non-backpackers will also enjoy their stay on Channel Islands. This is the Del Norte Trail. We stopped for lunch and it was really good. And we got a table on like the first mile. So if you're hungry and you can hear this, know there's a table a mile in. Okay, so. Yay! Our campsite. Yo, that was like not bad at all. I got all. the shady one. 1.45, two hours and 10 minutes since we got off the ferry. So this is campsite number four. There's a fox box, a picnic table. I guess this is where we could put our tents. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go inside and pump it up. Oh, yeah. What? That's freaking sick. Wait, Wait did that come in the. So you know, it's so weird. So freeze dried lime and <laughs> freeze dried lime. What the heck? So, if we get it dehydrated, we can freeze dry that stuff too? Smell heat flight temperature. She's a. <laughs> yeah, really. They are. Sunset at Channel Islands. An important thing to keep in mind is that there are no water sources on the island until you get to Scorpion Cove. So make sure you pack in all the water you need to drink and cook with until you reach Scorpion Cove campground. So that's campsite number four, hidden in those trees. Campsite number three, there's two and then one, the green ones back there. Get to camp by coming on that trail the campsites are here, and if you walk past campsite number four, there's a little pit toilet at the end of that hill there. So this is the pit toilet. It's nothing fancy, but it's a toilet in the backcountry. Looks like that. And you'll have some pretty nice views for a guy. We still gotta pack out all your trash. It's 6.30 right now. 
Channel Islands looking beautiful and we're almost ready to start our hike. Goodbye campsite number four. It is 6.32 and we're headed to Scorpion Cove. We are on our way, day two. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be anywhere from like an eight to 10 mile hike. Yep. I don't know how long it is because I've been getting different information from different sources, but it's gonna be long. It's well, gonna basically, be long. we got a lot of time. But all day, a lot of miles. there's water at the next campground we're at, so I'm excited. Yep. Oh my gosh, this incline. Like that was like scrambling. It was scrambling. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to like use your hands. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, the path wasn't clear. Yeah, and like there's kind of like a drop off on your side, and then with the packs, I feel like your balance is kind of thrown off. So a little tricky, but we did it. We did it. And we got more to go. Yeah, that's a, we that got huge more to mountain. Go. That's a... That huge mountain back there. We got to climb it. Three. This is nice though, because we can kind of see the harbor that we came from. So that little toothpick looking thing right there. So we made it here. It's 10.22. Been out here for three hours. That's the way to the peak, but we're not gonna do that. That section coming up was pretty hard. So we got four more miles to go to our campsite. So we have four more miles to go to get to Scorpion Cove. Our campsite's a little bit closer, but I think it's supposed to be not as hard from here. So it's definitely the easier, um, easier half, if I read correctly. And already the trails are smooth, they're not rocky, they're relatively straight. Um, so I think it'll be a, a nice few miles back to our next home for tonight. I mean, we're only just going around this. How are you liking this hike so far? How am I liking this hike so far? This hike's really trail good. rating. Yeah, I, I think it's it keeps you it keeps you very engaged. It keeps it's you really, humble. Yeah, it's really easy, and then it gets hard, but not too hard, and then it gets easy again. That's true. There's views left and right, so it's just, left and right. There is views left and right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is it, it's a really awesome it's a really awesome hike, especially in April right now. There's a, there's like a breeze going on. You feel cold, or you feel nice and chilly. Um, once you start sweating, it feels not as bad, but uh, the weather's been really good too. So, just having a good time, having a blast. Watch out! This way and Scorpion this way. Uh -huh. So, which one should we do? I think we should do potato. I think so too. Is it shorter? No, it goes like this and it meets. Yeah. But is it shorter? But it has more views. Yeah. I and then so we're going to do potato anyway. Might as well. And we're right we're already high up. So we're going to Potato Harbor. It'll add a little bit more, but we'll have better views. Right, Dan? Yes. <laughs> Don't it's gonna be him. worth it. Don't trust him. And we started our hike so early. It's only 10.30 right now. Might as well.
Yay. We made it! 11.25 miles, 5 hours, 43 minutes later. The same spot. Like, oh God. This is why there are fox boxes here. Look at that guy trying to get into Tyler's bag. Apparently, these foxes will open zippers. Oh shoot! There might be something in there. Oh shoot! So this is a campsite, there's campsites on your left and your right. Each comes with a fox box, a table, and pretty large tent area. It's pretty private. There's drinkable water here, which is nice, and there are also bed toilets. Looks like pretty much all the spots are shaded, or at least a portion of it. so like chinky, chinky. Mm -hmm. 